Square is downtown Los Angeles, and just 20 minutes from downtown LA, we're here in Rubio Canyon, and there's a series of waterfalls that cascade through the San Gabriel Mountains, and this is the perfect spot for canyoneering. I'm here with Travis McDaniel, owner of ATS, and today we're going canyoneering. That's right, Julia, you ready? I'm so pumped. Look at it, it's beautiful out here, amazing scenery. It's a great day. Do you know what canyoneering is? No! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we should cover that. It's basically a technical descent of a canyon where we're going to use ropes and harnesses and we're going to rappel down waterfalls. So when I first think about canyoneering, I often associate it with rock climbing. Yeah, what makes canyoneering different? With uh, rock climbing, you're just one person alone on the rock trying to conquer the mountain. With canyoneering, you can have a group of friends that work together to get through the canyon, have fun, swim, uh, rappel down waterfalls. It's a great team-based activity. That sounds good, but first, we got a big hike. Real big hike. What'd you think of the hike so far? It was good, I can handle it. Not too bad? Not too bad. All right, well the hard part's coming up right here. Okay, I'm Straight ready. Straight uphill. I'm ready. All right, let's do it. <laughs> waterfall in Rubio Canyon and it's called La La La, a hundred feet. I'm nervous to go down but I'm gonna suck it up and throw myself over the cliff. It's very important for Julia not to look down. This, this is high. Nice job Julia, you're doing great. slippery on the rocks because of the water so I did kind of slip a little bit but luckily I was able to always keep one hand on the brake rope and then one hand to kind of you know stop my face from hitting the rock so I feel pretty good it's the first time I've ever done it that was really hard and it all gets easier from there I hope. okay this is rappel number two I'm on the second rappel I'm just gonna ease into it Lean into the harness, let it take most of my weight. I just take my time walking down the waterfall. I mean, what an amazing place for lunch. And the city is right behind us. How crazy is that? I love it. But when you work hard, you know the food tastes that much better. Sun's going down, we've accomplished the day, amazing day. Got a few scratches, got a little dirt, so we know I really got in there and I feel a great sense of accomplishment. So, when are we going again? How about we go for ice cream instead? How about soup? Soup, oh, what a great idea. I can feel all this freezing cold water just smushing in my socks, you know? I'm impressed more and more every single day. I mean, that was tough stuff. Oh, you're sweet, thanks. <laughs> I felt like a bit of a pansy because I was really scared. I don't know how much it really came across, right. but there were moments where I was like freaking out, <laughs> okay? Oh God, because I mean, out. truly, it's, it's, it's yeah. psychologically, I mean, you're not really supposed to throw yourself over a 100-foot waterfall. No. And that first step, when you're leaning back, that's a, that's a scary one. Yeah, exactly. And we started on the biggest one, right. you know? So it was like, just we just, he just threw me right into there. Were you afraid the equipment was going to give out, or what, what scared you the most? Well, that's the thing. I mean, yeah. the equipment can hold so much weight. So it really is kind of, you know, just getting over that initial yeah. fear. Have you ever tried it? Yeah, I've done it. I was in Fiji and actually got to rappel down a waterfall, oh. raging waterfall, so okay. you get pounded in your face, but yeah. I was just as scared as were you, you were. Were you really? Were you just trying you to You had a little freak that? out, though. It seemed, it seems it was I pretty. know. And, okay, I'll give you a little behind the scenes. Yeah. The camera guy had the camera in his backpack, yeah. and he doesn't like heights either, which made me feel a lot better. And he was like, going down, going down, water spraying <laughs> everywhere and freezing cold water. But not a bad trip for just 20 minutes outside LA, right? Oh, no, it was amazing. All of that, like, it gave me a great story. I challenged myself physically. 
I trust me, I challenged myself emotionally. The hike up there was just as hard as yeah. actually repelling. Yeah, well, you gotta hike up to get down. Yep. But it's a so. great trip, and if you're interested in trying canyoneering, go to kajubi.com. I think I will check it out. Next time I'm out west, I'm going canyoneering. <laughs> All right, we will be right back on Outside Today.